Witnessing their son play the Springboks into the Rugby World Cup semi-finals, Cheslin Colby's parents, Andrew and Millicent, saw the moment through the lens of his entire life. Sometimes Cheslin was very naughty when I was looking for him. He's in the street playing touches. But he knew when to come home. He was a very disciplined boy. I think rugby started when I was playing rugby. I always took him to the rugby field. So he basically grew up on a Saturday morning on a rugby field. And from there, he just keep on going. At the end of the day, you're working towards your goals and that you want to achieve what you want to do. So but the most important thing for us, a sports person, you have to put in the hard work and just work hard, yeah. We first met the Colbys when Cheslin was a muscle car-loving Stormers star. Then, chartered accounting student Leila Capito took in a rugby game and rocked his world. Well, we met at Newland Stadium and um, he tracked me down on social media. Five months later, we started dating. Yeah, for me it was a life at first sight and I saw Leila walking by the stadium and I just thought I'd take this opportunity by approaching her and just asking for her personal details. And yeah, five months later, everything worked out perfectly and we're a happy couple. Three years later, Leila was having a wedding dress fitting and once again, Cheslin's Western Province rugby home ground was the stage for all the drama. It was a normal um, Friday after work. It was the last game of the season and Rachel Khaleesi um, tagged me along to the box of the game and my whole family had arranged to be in the stadium for Cheslin's last game to support him. And then after the game, we walked onto the field and then one of the girls just pushed me into the middle and the cheerleaders were all dancing around me and stuff and I was like, what's going on? And all the players were standing there and I just saw Cheslin walk towards me and he gets on one knee. I looked behind him because he's like on his knee and I look up and I just saw my mom and like all my family with like white t-shirts saying say yes and I was like oh my word it's like it's happening so um yeah I obviously couldn't say no to a full crowd of like a Newland Stadium and and they won to top it off. I think I was very specific for what I wanted I wanted a local designer to design my dress for me and um I wanted something very elegant sophisticated but a bit edgy. I came across Robin Roberts' page on Instagram and I saw one of her dresses and I just knew that she could make me what I wanted. We used a nude illusion tool to cover her arms and chest area and then the beaded lace is appliqued down her hip line to enhance her curvaceous body. She really, really wanted a low back, which was tricky for us, but we used a gorgeous back strap to work with the design that she wanted. I feel so excited for my big day now, and I think I'm definitely going to take Cheslin's breath away. Loyal to the province which was first to support him, he and his fiancée chose the Winelands for their wedding. And decorator Lazelle Ferry got to see that the soon-to-be Mrs. Colby is as good with creative concepts as she is with numbers. What Leila and Cheslin wanted to do is they wanted to showcase their love as a couple and with small elements that they've used, starting with the keychains as a name card for each guest. They were going with an all-white look for this wedding with just a little bit of a touch of gold and navy to give it that beautiful, elegant look. And for the flowers, Layla's favorite flower is the tulip, white tulip, and then the white orchids. And then we used a combination of different white flowers. We used pom-poms and we used snapdragons. And all of these flowers individually perfectly placed in individual vases, all different shapes and sizes. And that is what we've done with the tables today. At this stage, Mr. Colby was playing in the red of Toulon, but the cake by Karen Watson was a tribute to his Stormers roots. Jason's favorite color is blue, so it was the most easiest choice for them, and the touch of gold just added that elegance Layla was looking for. The silk orchids finished off the cake to perfection, and with its sheer size, the cake is grand and beautiful. The personalized topper was a special one. We tried to get her exact replica of her dress, even down to the moles on Cheslin's face and her face. We went for the Stormers Western Province shorts, as that was a huge significance in their life. Chessie's groomsmen included teammates from his Sevens, Stormers and Springboks career, all there to witness the biggest moment of his life. 
we never thought that things would happen so quick in, in our lives, but I think everything happens for a reason. And since day one, I knew that she's the one that I want to spend my whole life with. And I just want to thank our how almighty because if it wasn't for him nothing would have been possible and just for the person that she's been with him this four years has been incredible because I've learned a lot through her and I'm sure she learned a lot from me as well so I think that helped us to where we are right now and I'm looking forward to today and I'm sure she's very excited for, for the day and I'm just thankful to have my groomsmen with me to make life much easier for me and my parents, our parents, everybody. So I think all the support structures and that we, we really appreciate and we just have to know that we thank you for what you do for us. With such an international guest list, the big day had to synchronize rugby seasons happening across the globe. As for the bride, she only had thoughts for her groom. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing Cheslin as I walk down the aisle. Um, I hope there's a few tears in his eyes. If not, I'm going to walk a bit slower and wait until the tears do come. So I'm just excited for my dad to give me away to Cheslin and I think that's the most precious moment of today. Layla's choice certainly got the thumbs up from his in-laws Wayne Canamere and Renee Cupido. I'm glad to see my daughter happy. Cheslin is absolutely the most humblest, most loving. I could not ask for anything better for my daughter. Um, they suit one another very well. They're absolutely amazing together as a couple. And we can only see them reach higher than what they have now. My wish for them is health and wealth and success and happiness. You can't describe it. It's, it's unbelievable. It's such a young age and our last born. To walk down, down that aisle was just amazing. My wish for him is that they must be happy, they must believe in each other, and they must believe in God. With Leila by his side, Cheslin and his teammates at Toulouse have won both the European Cup and the top 14. Though the players from his days with the Stormers remain his first rugby family. I would just like to say um, I'm really proud of them. Um, I mean, we really look up to them. They've been through a lot, especially with Cheslin traveling up and down. And I yeah, just wish them all the success. And everyone here loves them a lot. And good luck to them in their future. There are still massive rugby stakes to play for, but the star winger has Layla in his corner and her sister Kia Cupido has every faith in them. Layla, Cheslin, I love you so much. I think you guys are the most perfect couple. You guys are goals, you're my inspiration. I hope I have something that you guys have one day. Being part of their wedding day is just phenomenal and um, a great couple, amazing couple, amazing people. And I think everything that uh, was said about, especially Cheslin today, about his humility and uh, respect and discipline is, is definitely that. And i um, really honoured and privileged to share this amazing day with Cheslin and Lila and wish them the best of luck for their marriage. And only tears of joy. The moment she walked out of the door, I literally started shivering and the moment she got closer to me, I just couldn't hold my tears back and I just burst out into tears and just want to say that she really looked amazing and beautiful. I think the highlight of my day was walking down and seeing Chesun in tears and then sharing the special day with our daughter and having her part as our first dance and then obviously seeing how beautiful our wedding turned out to be. I think it was absolutely amazing. As for what's happened since then, it seems to prove that being bold does bring mighty forces to your aid.